I'm Andrew, aka Quasi, and this is another episode of Point Rock Review. And in this episode, once again, Brian is not here. He's still up in New Hampshire. He's not going to be back down until around June. So from now on, it'll probably be a hit or miss. It might be me. It might be Brian. It might be an episode of him and me recording something. We did this winter. We have no clue. Um, our schedules are kind of all off and things are just kind of cuckoo. So you're just going to have to be surprised of what you're running into. So our first beer for tonight is by Samuel Adams. And this one is a cream stout. Sweet and roasty, 4.9 alcohol by volume, and 20 IBUs. Nothing else special about it at all. So we're gonna pop this bad boy open and see what we got. Definitely smells like a stout. Got that creamy smell to it. So let's see what it's all about. So, so far, the head of this isn't too bad. It kind of like had no foam and then kind of just foamed up. Um, I don't know how long that's going to last. Like I said, smells like a stout. Smells kind of creamy. We're going to check it out. I see a cow on there and all I think is milk. But I know it's not going to taste like milk. It is quite creamy. You can taste the roast, or the roasted flavor that's supposed to be in it. Honestly, this is quite nice. It's not, doesn't seem too heavy. I think uh, if you like your stouts, you might like this. Um, it doesn't have a chocolate taste to it, really. It's more of that stout, but it does have that creamy uh, flavor and almost texture to it. And it's honestly, like I said, not too bad. I think Sam Adams has got something here. I know some of their beers for me are hit and miss because sometimes one Sam Adams can taste like another. As you've probably seen in uh, previous episodes, since we've been doing this, I don't know, um, this will be 82 videos. So we've been doing this uh, a year and a half or so. But not bad. Like I said, it's not heavy. It's actually quite good. Uh, it's not an independent beer, so it's one that Sam Adams did themselves. It wasn't uh, something somebody else came up with and brought to Sam Adams. So our next beer comes from Luffgill, or it's Laugill, I'm not sure, Brewing Company. Uh, this one is called Lover's Blend. It is a chocolate porter. Alcohol is 6%. Um, it's a 14.9 fluid ounce beer, independently craft uh, brewed. It is an Irish, genuine Irish beer. So I'm not going to bore you with this whole story that's on the back of here, but I'll put it right here. That's usually a Brian thing. Um, but it's basically made with chocolate that comes from Ireland, and they use the finest cocoa nibs, and it's an uh, aroma of roasted malts, with the chocolate and the mocha line, you know, blah, 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 blah. So basically, it's a chocolate porter, and it's got a roasted flavor. And that's it, okay? So uh, that's what we're going to go with. So I'm going to pop this bad boy open. Ooh, look at that. It's already foaming on me. And it's got a nice chocolate smell to it, that's for sure. So I'm going to pour this bad boy in and see what we got. And it looks like right now, ooh, Nelly, I got some foam. 
So that's my bad because I poured it a little too fast. But this beer seems to be really foamy anyways. I had one of these at dinner a couple days ago. And it did the same thing. So as you can tell, this beer still has quite a bit of a head. Uh, I let it settle as much as I can. I poured in a little bit more each time. Uh, I drank some of the foam just to taste it. And uh, it tastes pretty good, I guess. It does have that chocolate aroma they talk of. And uh, you can smell the uh, roasted malt in it. So uh, we're going to try to drink this and see what it tastes like. Mm. Try to get past this phone, guys. Well, it's definitely a porter. Uh, you can taste the chocolate in it. It's not very uh, chocolatey, I guess. And you can taste the, the the roasted malts in it. It's not a bad beer. Uh, being an Irish beer, I think uh, most people would like this if they like Irish beer. It's quite good. It definitely has that earthy and deep chocolate flavor that they talk about in this beer. So at, looking at this bottle, I realize that it is brewed and packaged uh, in Ireland. And it is ported to here in the States. Uh, so, it is definitely an Irish beer. And honestly, that's pretty good. So, our first review for tonight is Sam Adams Cream Stout. Now, this not being an independent beer and just being done by Sam Adams itself uh, is quite good. Um, I was not really disappointed with this at all. Uh, it was sweet, it was roasty, it was a cream stout. It was quite creamy. Uh, it was really good, and I thought it was above standard, so I will definitely give this a 3.5. So our next review for tonight is the Lover's Blend. And this is a chocolate porter, and it wasn't bad. Um, I've had a lot of chocolate porters. Um, I wouldn't say this is my favorite chocolate porter. I've had some that are really, really good. Uh, but this is this is good, though. Um, and I would give this one a three. So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons to click the like button for your chocolate porters and your creamy stouts. Until next time, guys. So as I was in the middle of doing this beer review, I thought, what would it be like if I took the chocolate porter and the creamy stout and mix them together. So we're gonna give this a try. And of course, once again, the chocolate porter is quite foamy and the stout is not as foamy as that. But we'll give that a blend. We'll let that settle a bit. So here we go to a chocolate porter and a creamy stout. Mm. That's not half bad. That's pretty good. So that is pretty nice. That's a chocolatey, creamy, Porter Stout.